Hello, my name is Fiona Stanton from Fleece Paper Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel. Now they're fairly straightforward, I'm sure that you already know how to do pinwheels, um, but um, I wanted to show you because I do love them. I think they're very decorative, they're very good for using your designer series paper or cardstock, um, and I just for home decor, I think they're lovely. And obviously, at the moment, Stampin' Up are doing uh, buy four. Uh, or buy three get four packs of DSP so there's a sale going on throughout July so this is a nice way of um, using your design series paper in a slightly different way so to make the pinwheel we're going to cut um, some strips of cardstock I'm going to do two strips of three inches by 12 so it's a fairly large um, pinwheel I'm going to do two strips Like that. Take that away. Get my scoreboard. Obviously, you could use the um, the trimmer, but for things like this, I prefer the scoreboard. So we're going to score at every half inch on both strips. So just a second, while I do that. I like this scoreboard because you've got the grooves down here so you can find oh, exactly the right groove that you want, she says, making a mistake. Typical, isn't it? Uh, don't press too hard because it is a design series paper, the standard um, paper, so that's your tear if you, if you um, press too hard. Always make sure it's butted up in the top um, left-hand corner there. ready for um, end of term as well. It's a little bit manic here. Just found out what class the children are being, which is good. They're happy. They're happy. I'm happy. I don't really know who the teachers are as such, so right, just a minute. Left all my glues and stuff behind. I don't know whether I use tape or glue for this. I think I used glue on the last one. And then it's just a process of accordion folding. I find it easier to go backwards and forwards like this. You will do it whichever way you want to. These are quite quick and easy to make. I wouldn't make too many. It's just me. I get bored making the same thing. Especially if it's like something like this in the middle where you've got to score and fold, score and fold. I just haven't got the patience. I'm terrible. I really am. I'm a lazy crafter. What about you? Have you got patience for doing loads of these? It's one of those things that always starts out as a good idea, you know, something for a wedding or a party. Then by the time you've done about three, you're like, oh, seriously, why did I say I was going to do this? But you're the household crafter, so everybody expects you to make something for a birthday or a party or whatever it is. Luckily, when I got married, I wasn't a crafter, so I didn't have to uh, <laughs> convince anybody I was going to make anything for our wedding. But I think that's a very uh, bad idea. You've got enough stress on. Though I appreciate it, it's uh, a money saver. And some people like it, some people really enjoy doing all that and knowing they made it for their wedding, nobody else. And I can understand that. But... Um, yeah, I'm not like that, I have to say. Right, so now we've got that far, we're going to join these two bits together. I'm going to slot them in like that, okay? So I will just use a little bit of glue, I think, for this one, the tape. Glue's a lot quicker. I hope you can see all this, probably can't, I don't know where I've put the camera at the moment. There we go. And just squeeze that together. Make sure it's going to fold nicely. 
So that's the strip like that. And then we've got to put it together like that. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, you want to have one of each, so. But I could just do the same thing again, couldn't I? Yeah. They say you want to have one valley fold and one mountain fold, so technically you should cut a bit off. But I don't, I just put, I just slot it in like a zigzag like that. And that works for me. So let's uh, do that. Okay. Now then while that is um, setting, I'm going to cut the decorative elements out. So first of all, I'm going to cut um, some circles that will go on top. So these, um, and this is what holds it all together when you've got it all pushed down. I do two, I do one front and one back, but the preference is up to you really. Um, I'm just going to get that cast off again. I'm going to do a scallop circle, let's just measure which one I use. Yeah, that one looks about right. That. The good thing about this design series paper is that it um, has two sides to it. So we can use one side on one side and the other side on the other side. Or we could use both the same. It really is up to us. I'll have a think about it. Those two circles, and what I'm also going to put on there is a dragonfly. Put those away. So I'm going to use a different cardstock. It's from the same uh, pack, which is the Sea of Textures, Tranquil Textures. I knew it was something like that. Oh, this is going to fit on there. Oh, just about, just a little, there we go. Oh, it's not that one I want. Do, do, do. Can I put them both in there? Oh, I might be able to. There we go. Okay. cut it's whether this one has cut uh, that made no sense whatsoever did it this one is cut but that one might not so just check yeah that looks like it's cut it's with it's the fine details always a little bit more tricky to do let's get that out of the way so so we're going to use that that side maybe let's we'll see what do we fancy what do we fancy your dies clean otherwise it could affect whatever you're cutting next time so those are away not doing too badly here that out the way let's see which way do we want this or do we want it like that what do we think I think I quite like it like that actually I prefer it that way. So let's glue our dragonfly together. This is from the detailed dragonfly dies and it's from Stampin' Up. There is a stamp set that uh, coordinates with it. I think it's called Dragonfly Dreams. Um, I'll have a look in the catalogue for that. So that will go. I have chosen things rather similar. I? Never mind. That will go on top of one of our circles like that. A little bit of squidgy glue. 
there we go Let's leave that to dry now then moment of magic make sure this works yay Make sure you put plenty of glue on. It's only going to touch a few areas. The top, obviously, the glue is only going to get in contact with the top areas. So whatever you do, make sure you've got plenty of glue. I know what I wanted to do with that. Actually, I wanted to cut a bit of ribbon. Let me just put that on top of there for a minute. Find something to put down on it. So this is just the um, classic weave ribbon in white. And what I was going to do, which I forgot, because I was rushing as always. Oh, well, there you go, it's pinged up, pinged up for me anyway. Put that in there first of all. And then, of course, what I always forget is this is a circle, so it doesn't matter actually where things go until the last moment. Because it's a circle, so everywhere could be up, couldn't it? Okay. This is why I use two. Put that in there for a minute. Right. So we're just going to hold this. Well, actually, what I'm going to do put my tape on it to hold it down and there we go and my glue and that will hold down hold that down to it idea and I'll show you the one I made earlier on so you can see once you've got it stuck down it's pretty firm it's a great uh, home decor piece of item so that's making a large pinwheel with a decorative center for you using your designer series paper which is on sale this month thank you very much bye